Третий майнер пишет из Кирилли, Кирилл Аккорд Пасхачина, Кирилл Адам Пасхачина, Мишин Кутиту Кансен, Пасхач Порет, Энхэва Адам, Энхэва Адам, Good afternoon, my lord. Uh, as indicated by my learned friend, my name is Gumbo. I appear alongside my brother Brian Berry. We are on record for the Law Society of Kenya, the interested party. Thank you. We appear alongside our uh, learned friend, Mr. Moses Kipoge. Ms. Ariella Saina. And Ms. Lloyd Biongo for the first and third respondents. Ready to proceed. Sorry. Sorry, Malad. Malad, we complied with the directions of the court. We complied by the court's directions and we have filed the following documents. We have a replying affidavit dated 27 October 2023. We filed our 27th October 2023. We have our submissions. Our submissions are dated uh, 27th October 2023. Yes. Yes, Your Lordship. Then we have a list of authorities dated 13th November 2023, and we have a supplementary list of authorities for which we seek leave uh, to be adopted by court. It's dated the 30th day, 13th day of November 2023. Uh, my colleagues have not opposed it. Uh, it's not introducing anything new. We have served. Outside Kenya for number one, it's for it's for regional or international peace support operation, and then Roman two, it is for other support operation. So that, my lord, if you are to construe the constitution holistically and contextually, it will be absurd to expect the military to assist the national police service of Haiti. because they don't have that technical expertise in that area. And that's why your Lordship, Roman two of Article 248A of the Constitution provides for deployment of national forces for other support operations. Therefore, my Lord, in our submission, given the nature of the request, by the government of Haiti as per the UN resolution. 
national police forces, sorry, national forces will, should therefore be construed to mean, or rather to include members of the national police service, as well as members of the intelligence. And has confirmed that there was indeed a request and no decision has been taken on deployment, as alleged by the petitioner. My Lord, Article 239, sub Article 6 of the Constitution allows Parliament to enact legislation to provide for the functions organized police service. on the establishment of the national three sub article four of the constitution. It contains a similar provision to 239 sub article six. Therefore the Lordship, the petitioner has not demonstrated how those three provisions of the constitution Thank you. Uh, then, Mr. Gumbo, Mr. Bitter, and uh, your able colleague, Mr. Mbarak, you argue that this petition is not right. Right? Going by what your colleague, Mr. Midenga, I hope I pronounce it correctly, and uh, Mr. Ogaba have argued, you still say the petition is not right? That's one link. Number two, if the petition challenges constitutionality of some law, is that a mandate of the court? or the National Assembly. That's tied together to the question of rightness. Thank you. Any one of you can answer. Not, uh, not that all of you will answer. Uh, one of you can answer. Uh, let me go first. Let me go first. I'm saying one of you can answer. <laughs> <laughs> so just choose who is to answer, because that's a general question. Yes, I've got, I've got a very clear mind on that question. Yes, please go. January. Mr. You, you are interested. Mr. <laughs> Gumbo. <laughs> uh, well, I really sympathize with the, the way it's, uh, that it was thrown in front of the matter of the uh, I, I, I know, I know what is before this court, Mr. Yeah. Gumbo. Yeah. We don't ask. I've already pleaded. Yes, I just I have pleaded that yeah. I have a matter that I'm hearing on 22nd, okay. and I must determine it before. Because it, regard, it regards another process yes. that must be concluded on 16th of December. Yes. So I must make a determination before so that mm -hmm. parties are able to know their, their rights yes. and how and to move. It is inhumanly possible to get it earlier no. than the limit of the act. We are open in when, Mr. Gumbo. Yes, we yes, are yes, human yes. beings. Yes. Nothing is, we are in this country, yes. and I don't think much is going to die. Uh, well, you thanks. want me to give you a decision. Yes, yes. So I'll give my decision on 26th of January. Remember, we are away from 21st. Mr. Gumba, that's the only time we have to go and see our grandparents <laughs> for your information. So please bear with me because of uh, what we have to do next week. In the next two weeks, uh, we welcome you to hear what the arguments will be. For the substantive uh, ruling or judgment on the 26th of January, uh, I think the judge has been very sympathetic in this matter with a view to trying to, uh, to finalize it. His orders are still uh, standing. The, the last order issued when 25th of October. Yes, yes. Uh, um, that, uh, 
uh, no deployment until the full determination of this matter. So what Parliament did today was a belligerent act. And if you had the judge even ask them, is there, an, uh, I mean, the principle of avoidance, does it apply in Parliament? That's the whole question of sub -judice. Of course, you, you, all of you have seen the statement, the joint statement from the those committee of Parliament. It's, uh, it has gone against the, the court order. It's sad, it's unfortunate that uh, some of the fellows debating this thing are actually lawyers, <laughs> officers of the court. Unfortunately, they disregarded that uh, court order. But the court order is still there, and we'll be keen to enforce it should there be an attempted deployment. I'm sure you've seen from uh, from news channels that uh, Parliament has approved the deployment of the 1,000 police officers. Uh, that they have done even when there is an existing court order uh, stopping that um, deployment until um, uh, the matter is determined finally. Unless maybe we have the hearing and determination of the petition. Mm -hmm. So there is nothing <coughs> on the extension of a court order. We filed two things. We filed a petition, and contemporaneous to the petition, we filed an application and a certificate of urgency. So the court said that because of the urgency of this matter, the orders were confirmed until hearing and determination of the petition so that we argue the main petition. So as things stand, until 26th of January 2024, the orders are in force. In case there is any decision that has been made by anybody, and we don't want to go to the merit, it will be on the violation of those orders. Okay? Yeah, so there's no cause for alarm. We still have the petition intact and the orders intact. We will know the next trajectory of the matter when we come back for the journey. Well, yes. Ignored valid court orders and participated in the acts of belligerence in Parliament today. It is, uh, it is uh, quite sad and unfortunate. Uh, some of them are lawyers. It is against your obligations as members of the Law Society of Kenya. It is against the Constitution and the rule of law. Once a judge has declared and decreed that no action should be taken towards deployment tilling, till the uh, final determination of their petition, it's marks of heightened arrogance for the politicians to think that the Constitution and the law are pieces of paper. We are here to remind them as the Law Society of Kenya that the Constitution was obtained through painstaking uh, efforts of the people of Kenya. Blood was shed. This is an item that is sovereign to us. And in our sovereign capacity, we will defend it, the Law Society, will defend the Constitution and will defend the law. Thank you.